Hello everyone, welcome to another fantastic episode. But today is a special occasion, so we brought our glasses. We're gonna oh, cheers to cheers. HPTV <laughs> and some fantastic episodes so far. Hope you're enjoying the network. Anyway, let's just have a quick toast of our water. Mm-mm. I just put these away now. So, Nicholas, Beautiful. what's on this week? So, today's episode. Remember we said last week, we're going to do an oriental salmon. It's absolutely beautiful, very easy to prepare, and you're going to love it. With a nice green salad, it'll be beautiful. Yeah, and then after that, we're going to jump in and do a fantastic oriental style workout. But that's <laughs> after that, of course. So remember, stay tuned to see how that's done. And also, at the end of that, we're going to do a tutorial. So make sure you stay there so you can see how to actually do the exercises because you can't just eat the food and not work out, all right? So, let's <laughs> Absolutely. Make... Well, we'll see you real soon in the kitchen and uh, make sure you've got all your utensils ready. Yep, let's go. Did you ever want to cook some really yummy salmon? Well, I'm going to show you today a really great recipe that's easy to prepare. Let's have a look. We're going to turn this beautiful set of ingredients into this and I'll tell you what, it's going to take no time at all. So join me in my kitchen today while we make this delicious, healthy recipe. Mmm, that salmon looks good, doesn't it? Okay, today we're gonna cook the salmon. Now, if you haven't baked it before, guess what? I'm gonna show you how to bake it so it's nice and moist, it's delicious. We're gonna make a, a simple marinade and it's gonna taste fantastic. So let's have a look at our ingredients. We already had a look at the salmon fillets. Let's have a look at the remainder of, of our ingredients. And what you'll see is up the top here, we've got some uh, grated root ginger. There's about um, an inch and a half of that. Uh, we've also got some sesame oil. There's about two tablespoons of that. We've got two tablespoons of the teriyaki sauce. Moving uh, down from that, we have some honey, about a tablespoon of honey. And we've got two garlic cloves that are crushed. And we've got a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. That's a few ingredients, isn't it? But I tell you what, the marinade is going to be fantastic. So all we do now is pop the marinade ingredients all together into a bowl and mix that up. And so obviously it's called Oriental Salmon because guess what? The flavour is from the Orient. So here we go. Excellent. So. This is actually a very easy recipe to prepare. The only time that you'll have is, and you can allow however much time you like, I would suggest you marinate the um, salmon probably for about 40, 45 minutes. And at the 20 minute mark, just turn it over. So I'm gonna pour the marinade over the salmon fillets, pop it in a container, and then pop it in the fridge for about 40, 45 minutes. And then I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 20 to cook. So this, it's not too fiddly, but you, if you, the more time you invest in marinating, the better flavours you're going to get. So, let's just, actually I might just pop the marinade, I'll pour that on top of the salmon. And as you can see, that looks fantastic. So here we go. I'm just going to move that around a bit. They are a little bit slippery because they've got the skin on. Okay. And then we're gonna pop it in the container and in the fridge for at least probably about 40 minutes. If you don't have time to marinate, that's okay. You know, just do the best you can with what you've got. So in it goes into my container. Okay. There we go. Lovely. You can see the color already is looking fantastic. So pour it on. There we are. Okay, on goes my lid. And in the fridge it goes. I'll be back shortly. Okay, that's about 40 minutes. So I'm gonna grab them now, take them out of the fridge. And let's see, now they've been marinating. So, how great do they look? Now, I've got a rack on top of my baking dish. 
and I'm gonna put the salmon skin side down on my baking rack. How easy is that? Now, the marinade's gonna stay separate, okay? And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes, depending on how big your salmon fillets are, and we'll be back to see the finished result. So that was 20 minutes on the clock and how fantastic does that salmon look? So, just prepared a little bit of beautiful mixed lettuce and all you need to do is take your gorgeous salmon with that beautiful oriental marinade and your lunch or dinner is ready to go. So, I hope you enjoyed watching that recipe. It's very simple to make. Now you can have that with some steamed vegetables, you can have it with mixed lettuce. It's a beautiful, complete meal. Enjoy, and I'll be back next week with another fantastic recipe. Now, wasn't that absolutely easy to prepare? And I'll tell you what, it's absolutely beautiful to taste. So, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. If you're a lover of seafood, you must, must, must try it. Now, Con, we really need to get moving now. I didn't really like the seafood very much. No, <laughs> the salmon, though, was excellent. I really enjoyed that, especially watching you cook it, honey. There's just something about how you cook. There's just something about yeah. it, isn't there? Anyway, yeah. let's focus on the workout now. Yeah, so right now, I'm hoping you, you uh, I jump up and we'll move over to the lounge room and do our Oriental-style workout. So, see you over there. Hi! <laughs> Back again for another exercise with Con. This is only three minutes, and as soon as Dickie hits that buzzer, we'll begin. Okay, today we're gonna be fugitives, okay? So we're gonna do a fugitive squat, Con. So let's get into it straight away, that's it. So we're squatting down, and you've got your hands behind your back as if you've been cuffed. You've been a very naughty boy. <laughs> You like it when I'm naughty, don't you? Oh, I love it when you're a naughty boy. <laughs> Do you like it when I'm naughty? <laughs> okay. So the first minute we're doing the squats. Stay nice and low, Con, nice and deep. You really want to get that bottom down. Okay, next 30 seconds. Okay, get that bottom nice and low. That's it. Your form is excellent. <laughs> Big pardon? <laughs> I said your whole form is excellent. That's it, nice straight back, toes <clears> pointing <throat> out, and knees tracking absolutely beautifully in line with your feet, excellent. Okay, beautiful, let's go. Down on the ground, into your push-ups, let's go. And keep your back nice and straight, keep those elbows back, Fantastic. Keep that chest down, bring it down low, that's it. Lovely. Now remember, if it gets a little bit hard, you can always come down to your knees, but I know you won't. Okay, keep going, next 30 seconds to go, only 30 more seconds. And then we're back into the squats. Well done. Get those elbows back. Punch them out. Remember, it's almost, almost finished this part of the workout. Then we're two thirds of the way through, then it's only a minute to go. Three minutes. All right, beautiful. Let's get back into the fugitive squats now. That's it. Right into it. That's it. Let's get nice and low, Con. That's it. Back nice and straight. Good, good, good. Let's get nice and deep. All right, 30 seconds, last 30 seconds. Punch him out, that's it. Well done, this is where it all happens, the last few seconds, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Almost time, come on, come on, keep going, don't stop. You've got to keep on going for the whole three minutes. All right. Oh, 
Well, what can I say other than that? That that was quite hard. But if this is too hard for you, as I've said before, and many, many times before that, watch our tutorials and learn how to do it appropriate to your particular strength level. I encourage you to get off the couch and try it yourself. You don't need much space. You're us here, Con and Nikki, and we can take you through it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that's the end of it, but no, Nikki, there's always something else. What's next, Nick? Hi everyone. No, I'm not a prisoner, I'm a fugitive, a fugitive from justice. And here today I'm teaching you how to do a fugitive push-up squats. And the way it works is this. Basically we tie our hands behind our back, keep our feet nice and wide, point our toes out. The important thing to note is wherever the thigh is pointing, that's where your shin's pointing, that's where your foot's pointing. Avoid that. As you can see, you're gonna break something if you do it like that, right? So just make sure everything's in alignment. Okay, nice and wide. Hands are behind your back, just like this. Okay? And what you're doing is you're gonna squat down. So squat down and up. Squat down and up. And that's gonna go on for about a minute, just squatting down and up. Now if you can't get depth, put something under your heels. So get, just get a wedge, something like that, put under your heels, which will prop up your heels. And if you do that, it'll be easier for you to get nice and down, okay? So that's basically, if this is really, really hard for you, you might put a chair behind you, so you can squat down until you hit a chair or a stool or something like that and then come up. So that's the fugitive squat component. After a minute, you're gonna go straight into a push-up. So we get on the ground, hands like this, legs up, ready, and we simply twist our elbows back and push up. Now, a few little tricks, right? You might wanna do that with your hands on this exercise. Keeping your hands up makes it a little bit easier for you to, to be nice and stable. Now, assuming you're doing this and you get tired, drop your knees down. That makes you, you know, lighter than what it is with your knees up. Continue on. If that's still too hard for you, come down halfway. Okay? Now, once you finish the push-ups, you go back up again into the fugitive squats. Remember, feet are apart, hands back, and we squat down like this. Make sure you get the bottom of your Spine nice and low, and ideally to knee level or below, hands back and up, right? So it's a minute of fugitive squats. It's too hard, lift your heel up as you know. Continue on, when you finish that, into a push up, like this. If that's too hard, drop your knees. If that's still too hard, come down halfway, and you continue on for a minute, and then do the fugitive squats again, and you're done. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on the fugitive squats a push up, make sure you watch our three minute workout for this one. It's a beauty, you're gonna love it. I'm Con, see you next time, bye. So as you see, God was very nice to us and he turned up the dial a bit and brought some sunshine. So thank God for that, eh? Hope you enjoyed uh, that workout. As I normally say, that was easy, but as you know, it, everything looks a lot easier than what it is, isn't that right, honey? That's right, but you know what? All you need is a space, you don't need any equipment. So come on guys, join in and have some fun with us. Yeah, make sure you watch the tutorial so you know how to do it so you don't hurt yourself and and uh, join in. Now, uh, that, that ends our show, but what's on next week, Nick? Oh, next week actually, you know, for the people that don't really necessarily like their meat, but want some veggies, we've got a beautiful pumpkin, as you call it in the US, squash, and carrot and tofu soup, which is really, really yummy. Now, all that, when I first heard that, I said, oh, come on, you gotta want to eat that stuff, come on, just give me a slab of meat. She goes, no, nah, Con, you gotta try this, and look, I must admit, it is spectacular. Just like the workout, just like the recipe, it's all spectacular, so I'm Con. I'm Nikki, thanks for watching, and see you next week. And cheese hates PTV, <laughs> bye. bye.